wonderful time of the year. Just shut up and buy shit. We are in the Christmas spirit over here at uh, not even John Hall Media. If you notice, I changed my name to uh, Johnny Boy. I did that because it, it just, it, for me and my ideas with what I want to do with this channel, really just roller coaster, planet coaster stuff, it, it came off a little bit pretentious like, oh, John Hall Media. Like, I, I'm not building some big, like, multimedia conglomerate or anything like that. I just, it didn't really, it was too wordy. So, Johnny Boy is what it's going to stick as. That was kind of a nickname I went by um, in places of work and stuff like that. So, it's simple, it's short, and uh, yeah, so that's it now. Uh, here we are in Appalachian Adventure, finishing up Bigfoot, the large B&M dive coaster. And I'm just adding some more supports and everything because you know, for an added sense of realism, it, it kind of... Eh, it just didn't look right having only three supports going up this lift hill, and then we go ahead and support some more of the, or fix up some supports on mid-course brake run, the second Immelman, and everything like that. Just putting the finishing touches on this back part of the park, because, like I've been saying for the past, like, month, uh, Phase 1 is coming to a Planet Coaster workshop near you very soon. And by very soon, I mean Friday, because I have made a commitment to a fellow creator to have it out for him on Friday, so he can take it, run with it, and totally doll up our River Rapids ride, and that creator would be a Mr. Shadow Phoenix. He is a he's an incredible creator. I'm sure if you're watching these, if you're watching, if, if you're watching these videos, you have an idea of who he is. He's um he's really has been a big inspiration for me, and he uh, his building style and and everything, his content, it really is kind of some of the stuff I was watching before I started this channel, like around a year ago. That really kind of you know kickstarted my little brain to want to, you know, start putting this content out there on YouTube and everything. And I'm, and I'm very, you know, his existence uh, makes me happy. I spent about three hours on uh, a voice call with him, just going over the parks and everything, screen sharing and everything. And he's, he's a, he's a genuine, he's a real sweetheart. He's a real nice guy. Um, regardless of what, if you're familiar with the Planet Coaster community and everything, and whether you're on Team Bro Coaster or not, uh, he's a very genuine dude. And any sort of noise and, and drama, I just, I, it's a little unnecessary. Um, I'm not going to get terribly involved with it, but uh, I, I do have opinions about this, that, the other thing, but I'm going to keep them myself just because I want the substance of my content to speak for itself. And um, yeah, so he's coming in. He's going to go ahead and doll up that River Rapids ride. He's going to pass me Silverwood, and I'm going to build some buildings in there for him. And it really, it really is like an honor that he reached out because. Well, actually, shout out Corey for sending him a video of mine. Uh, that was really uh, a sweet thing for you to do, my man. And it, it just just really building, you know, doing these Planet Coaster things again, building connections with people and other creators off the basic, uh, off the basis of you know their their content and what they create. That's literally all that matters to me. If you make good stuff and you make like really cool parks. That's all you got, like, to do. I mean, I, I like I said, I could care less about all the outside noise and everything. So it's gonna be really cool to work with him. I, I'm very much looking forward to it. And um, yeah, we have Gregory also. He will be joining me on the microphone here very shortly. He is dolling up the Minetown Mothman, the park's aero suspended roller coaster over in Minetown. We will do a video with uh, together. He is really making that look like uh, Big Bad Wolf and stuff. He's building a lot of cool cabins and stuff and everything over there. He's sending me screenshots and I'm just so freaking stoked for it. So that's, I I'm just very happy with how this is turning out. This this little hobby of mine um, is paying off in dividends far beyond the realm of uh, comprehension for a lot of you guys who aren't into this. Like if you, you know, if you're a, uh, well, GP bro, and you're like, you know, you, you know me from like social media or like school and stuff like that. And you're not big on roller coasters and you're like, oh my God, look at this geek. Yeah, look at me, bro. Like I, I've just, this has been so much fun. Just networking with great creators, uh, joining servers, getting to know you guys and talk to people. It, it's really been a whole hell of a lot of fun. So again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tagging along, checking out these videos. Honestly, like I know 160 some subscribers like ain't a lot, but it, it's more than I ever thought I could manifest with my big mouth and wild ambitions and shit. But we've I, I've humbled myself. OK, that's one thing. If you're a younger viewer, that's one thing you can look forward to as you get older. You get humbled, you get knocked on your ass. But there's no excuse not to get back up and just grab the world by the balls because you only get to live once, yo. Like 
YOLO, uh, is that what, are you kids still saying that these days? Um, do I have swag now? Anyway, it, it's just, again, it's been a lot of fun, and I appreciate the living hell out of every single one of you, especially if you're listening right now at this 5 minute, 45 second mark, because that means you've stuck around through the commentary, and the retention rate tends to drop off quite substantially after like 30 seconds, because, well, most of you Gen Y guys and girls have the uh, attention span of a flea and stuff. And I blame social media, but I'm not going to go on a off-the-cuff rant, because let's be honest, uh, opinions are a lot like assholes. Everybody has one, and, you know, I, I kind of stopped thinking I was going to change the world a while ago, and that's just made life uh, a lot easier, and I've just been happier focusing on myself. There are a few points I did want to make, though. Um, the, the, the Hot Shot video, the launched wooden roller coaster, that series isn't going anywhere. Corey, you can stop bugging me. It'll be out. But I mentioned Irvine Engineering in that, and I said they were some assholes out of Pittsburgh. That's not true. They are assholes out of Michigan, okay? I just wanted to go ahead and fix uh, that. Well, actually, the complete opposite of their ability to fix Lightning Rod, because, well, you know, that was entirely their fault. You can't change my mind on it. But... Yeah, again, thank you guys. I'm going to go ahead and let the music play out. You can go ahead and watch the time lapse through and through if you kind of want to just see some stuff or have some nice little Whiskey River background music. Um, I'll meet you in the real-time overview, and then we can go ahead and take a ride on Bigfoot, the B&M Dive Coaster in Appalachian Adventure. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I know it might be beating a dead horse, but... It, again, means so much, and it's made this life transition for me a, a whole hell of a lot easier. And we still got a lot of ways to go, but we'll get there. You'll get there. Keep your chin up. You're doing all right, kid. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, I'll see you in a few minutes. I love you, and you are beautiful. As always, I'm out. And, well, technically in America. You could thank the Patriot Act for that. Shout out W. Um, so, quick question before we get started. 
Did you guys like the music playing with the time lapse and stuff and it literally just being that? I've seen a couple channels out there garner a decent following, you know, views and subscribers just doing that. So maybe my big mouth is going to be my ultimate downfall. But let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you enjoyed it, we will definitely do some more of that. I thought it was rather soothing. So here we are in the finished first half of Handyman Hills. Finally! Oh my god! We're done. It looks good. This is what you can expect on the Steam Workshop. Now, a few points. This park is like 90% vanity. Like, it's all aesthetics. There's very little functionality. I let some guests into the park, and one, it killed my frame rate, and two, they were wandering all over the place clipping through buildings. Because a good example would be, if you guys remember um, in the last Handyman Hills video I did, there was concrete kind of like pieces right here acting as steps and that was just to fill in a gap right here but I worked the path so it all just looks flush and that's all I really needed it for just to look flush you let guests in here they are going to be clipping like hell I can go ahead and sink down some planters and stuff but that's just unnecessary pieces and stuff this game has to worry about so I'm not gonna tax it too much but finished up this little corner uh, really no functionality, just a couple of, you know, hydration stations, places you can get some drinks and stuff. A couple scenery pieces to make it look nice. The backstage area where get, um, employees could theoretically access and the aunt mom and uncle dad's mom and pop shop. Um, yeah, so this is all looking good and complete. I'm very happy with the finished product. There's no name for this ride yet. Uh, that will come eventually. I'll just, you know, it's nothing I'm terribly concerned about. Again, I'm more concerned with vanity and aesthetics than above all else. So, that's what's up. Uh, there, Here's the bridge I was talking about. Uh, it's nothing spectacular, but it gets the job done. It's very wooden, natural looking, and that's just the vibe we're trying to go for throughout this park. So, this needed to get done mainly because I didn't want to have the point of view you just diving under floating paths and stuff so that's done that looks good uh phase two more handy hills this all right in here will get done um after phase one is out and we take care of a couple other things this is gonna eh, I'm not gonna jump the gun but we got old dominion drop line if you're an og viewer you remember i did this in the original appalachian adventure series but this is going to be, that one's going to be like way cooler, way better, but I'm not going to jump the gun again. I just want to get what I have done out for you guys. Bigfoot finished, looking good. These, uh, the added support structure really helped fill it in, make it look a little bit more realistic and everything. So very happy with that. Uh, we finally got some support work done on this Immelman. Could probably add another one right here, but you know, it, it it's cool. It, it it looks good. I'll just go ahead and add that before I upload it to the workshop. And then the second half, these little speed hills. This coaster is built for speed, not comfort. What, a hot older woman made you feel her cans? Stop crying like a little girl. Why don't you try getting jacked off under the table in front of the whole damn family and have some real problems? Jackass. What were they like anyway? They look pretty good. Are they real? Are they built for speed or for comfort? So it's, uh, it's fast, and you'll, you'll see that in the point of view after we finish this up. Um, but yeah, the corner market is done. The bridge is done. Bigfoot is done. Finally. Fucking finally. It feels good to have everything done. So we finished up the station, the, the queue, and everything. Very narrow stuff. Again, nothing glamorous. I was kind of rushing it. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a theoretical base camp. So we're going with the janky kind of looking, uh, canopy pieces and everything uh, we have two exit points one right here for handicap and I guess a uh, access point to get on the ride uh, for handicapped guests you just go ahead and go up that because there are no stairs we uh, are abiding by ADA standards here at Appalachian Adventure but uh yeah this is the finished product uh, got a little bit more work to do in mine town but again that'll get done Really, in a day, I have an idea of just tearing all this out and filling in some stuff, and I can get that done relatively quickly for you guys. You can expect a video on it uh, this week. Uh, this is Greg's project. He's a rad music dude. Uh, theme and LLC, let's make magic and babies, or just magic. But uh, Greg is working in here, adding some cabins near Miss Elements, making that all look good. 
Mr. Shadow Phoenix will be taking care of the River Rapids ride. Kind of his specialty, apparently, so that'll be really cool. Can't forget Cameron's oh so steezy G uh, GCI roller coaster, Screaming Mimi. That'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to uh, go ahead and doll that up. Uh, we did some pathing work in here. Used the uh, cobblestone. We switched that out. It just makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, immersive, rustic, and everything. Uh, but yeah, so. That's really all that's been good, you guys. It, it looks good. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's go take a ride on Bigfoot, shall we?